All right, guys, good news. I got both of the issues we were having yesterday with the new Enjora brushless system resolved. One with the help from one of my followers, Deputy Dave. So big shout out to him. So when I came home, I adjusted all the throttle trims, steering endpoints, and everything with this remote. Now when I go to turn it on, it binds right up. So we have no issues with the bind anymore. It is ready to go. So I ended up adjusting the throttle trim, setting the endpoints on my steering. And for some reason that makes this go ahead and bind up right out of the box. So highly recommend doing that when you get your rig. That's something that I normally do anyways, but I was pressed for time and getting my video out yesterday. So we've got that issue fixed. The next one is the brownout issues with the 2S battery. No more issues. This is the exact same battery we were running yesterday, the Venom 430 30C battery, and we were having lots of brownout issues. I came home and took both of those dip switches and blew them out, and I took each switch and moved it back and forth about four or five times each. I don't think they were making contact, and so now when the BEC is set at six volts, it works. So right now, we're set at six volts, no issues. When we switch it over to 7.4 volts, you see the lights get brighter. We are at 7.4. Now we have the brownout issues again. We switch it back and then no more brownout issues. So on 2S, you want to run that on six volts. I don't know. Mine is a pre-production model. I didn't get an instruction manual or all the other goodies that come with it. They did mail me the new card. So this is the programming card that you plug into your computer. That's the USB-C port. And then that plugs into the ESC. So you can go ahead and make some adjustments. You have to download and unzip some files. And I haven't got a chance to do that yet. But I have got both the issues fixed with our new brushless system. So we're going to go out and hit the rocks with this. And then do another final review on how it performs. All right, guys, I am extremely pleased with the way that this rig is performing now. I'm very happy to get over the two issues I was having in the box stock video for this. You know, big help for my followers. You know, I would have never thought to adjust the throttle trim and the endpoints to get this to bind up immediately. So that wasn't me. That was actually one of my followers. So big shout out to him. And then getting this to not brown out on 2S. So when I did the video yesterday, I took that switch and moved it back and forth from the 7.4 volts to the 6 volts and was having the same issue. I don't know if blowing it out with the air hose or maybe just user error on my part, but it is performing great now on the 2S battery with it set to 6 volts. Now, I still don't know what that other dip switch does, and I'm not messing with it because I don't know if that switches it from LiPo to like nickel metal high dry or what that other dip switch does. I got online and found the instruction manual for this so I can see everything because mine was a pre-production model. I did not get a set of instructions with it. So that was part of the issue, but I'm just glad to have this rig up and running. So let's go ahead and talk about all the pros and cons. All the pros are the same for my box stock video. This thing is amazing. The MBL 32 ESC is fantastic. Lots of power. I like the fact that you can set the BEC to 7.4 and 6. 
The motor has lots of torque and power. I have the low set gears in here and it has a ton of wheel speed. I really like the Klingons too. I didn't mention that in the other video. The Klingon tires and the 1.3 bead locks are awesome. So now when we shift to the cons on this one, really I only have one con and that's the way you have to program it, you know, by plugging it into a PC or computer, but at least you're able to program it. So for $59.99, this is an absolute steal. I can highly recommend this now. You know, I don't have any doubts or thoughts about ordering this you know mine was the pre-production model so maybe it was quirky maybe it was user error i can't really say but what i know now is that this is running properly and it is absolutely worth sixty dollars hands down might be one of the best buys in the rc market right now so all in all i like the way that the rig's performing i like the way that the tires are performing and the bead lock so go out and check this out this is the enjoy tarantula with the new brushless system all enjoy brass on front clearance links. This is an entire Enjora build and everything on it works absolutely fantastic. So don't forget to support your local hobby shops. Bash, crawl, repeat. Hit that subscribe and like button for me and ring the bell so you can catch my next video. We'll see you next time.